Let's learn what are modules in Python. Modules are one of the very interesting features in Python. Very interesting concept. So let's say I have made a script. This is my script. I have some variable here, some function here, and some class. Now later on, for some reason, I want to reuse this code in another script. Right? I want to reuse this variable maybe, uh, this function maybe. So I want to re reuse this whole script in another script. Right? I want to reuse this code. So for, for that, what can we do? So for now, remember that the name of the script is mymodule.py. Right? Okay, let's see. So this is exactly the same code which you just saw here in the previous slide, this, this code. Right? So this is exactly the same code. Now, what I did is I made another script and to reuse this whole code, I wrote import space my module. So this my module is actually the name of my file. This, this is what I wrote here. Right. So by doing this, uh, this whole code is now imported here in, in, the, in my new script, right in this script. And I can simply access anything from here by writing my module dot and then the name of that variable or function, for example, my module dot print hello, this function. Right? So this, this call is actually accessing this function, this call is ac accessing this variable. And this call is ac actually accessing this class piano. Right, so it's that simple. So I will write my module dot and then the name of the variable or function or class, whatever it is. Let's see what is the output. So this is the output. So the variable age of queen, the, the uh, value of that variable was 78 and that is printed. The output of print hello was hello, that is printed. And the uh, output of this class and the function is printed here. The constructor of this class and the function is printed here. All right, now there is one problem in this uh, code. So that problem is uh, the name my module is written before every variable, every function here. So what if for some reason I changed the name of my script, right? So this was my script here. Maybe sometime in the future I change the name. So what will happen then? I will have to change this uh, name in every single place where I wrote it. This is quite a big problem. So right now I have just used three variables, uh, three different things, one variable, one function and one uh, class. But what if it has lots of things, right? Lots of uh, different functions and variables and, and classes. What then? I will have to rename each and every one of them here. That is not very convenient, right? So this is the problem. So to solve this problem, what we can do is we have another way of importing the module. And the second way of importing the module is this. You write the name of your script file. So this is the name of my script file, file which I want to import my module. You write that from your script file, import, and then you write the limited number of uh, uh, parameters or whatever functions and variables which you want to import. So this way, you don't have to write my module before uh, calling any of them. So when I have done this, I can simply write age of queen without writing my module dot, right? So I can simply write age of queen. I can simply write the name of class as pan and I can use him uh, just like I was using it them before while accessing it uh, from my module dot something, right? So I can do that simply. But again, this uh, method of importing is convenient only when you want to import some certain number of things, one or two things. If uh, a particular file has, you know, a lot of things, a lot of functions and classes, it's not very convenient. And you want to import everything from that script. It's not very convenient to use this method because then you will have to list every single thing here, which is present there in that script. And that is not very convenient, right? So we have a third way. And I think that is the best way of importing a module. And that way, what we do is we write import the name of your file, my module, and then we import it as some variable. So we write as and then a variable m. Now to use it, we write m dot the name of your variable, m dot name of your class and so on. So you do have to access it with m dot something, right? This variable dot something. But again, if you change this name, my module uh, in the future, if you change the name of this file, 
you just have to rename it in just this single place, just this word. You just have to rename this single word. You don't have to rename it in every place you have used in this new file, right? So it's still the best way to import. And if you want to import just one or two things, then obviously this method, the second method was better than this. If you just want to import one or two things, but if you want to import a whole script and, and there are a lot of things in that script, then this method is your perfect method.